Greetings and salutations, everyone. It's Eric Lehman presenting to you episode 696 of my YouTube show known as TPL. How's everyone going? Now, I'm continuing on the road to 40. Now, everyone wants to know, what's the road to 40? Well, as you know, as of March 6th of this year, I will be turning 40 years old. So, up until March 5th, I will be spending my last moments in my 30s until I hit the big 4-0. Now, many people think 40 is a big deal. You know, I'm still a young man at heart. So, I have decided, in my mind, to do top 10 of my favorite stuff uh, from the 80s. Some I still have, some I do not. You know, I did top 10 80s, uh, you know, toys, cartoons, all, all my favorite songs and whatnot. So, you know, so this time around, I'm doing my top 10 personal favorite TV shows that's, that were from the 80s and born in the 80s, started in the 80s, and here they are. Let's go down to the honorable mentions first. Night Court, one of my favorite shows. I like Marky Post. She was gorgeous. Harry Anderson's pretty funny. John Larroquette is hilarious. Uh, big, also, a big. I like Richard Mole as Bull Shannon. He is funny. He always acts like he has no clue what's going on. He's the bailiff. He's like, uh, okay. You know, it's hilarious to see that. Um, uh, so, that's... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I got a lot. Okay. Yeah. So, uh. So, excuse me. Ha! <laughs> it's like my phone here. But here's the funny thing about the, um, about. So, my favorite episode of Night Court? Simple enough. It was when Terry Hatcher, before she made it big as, um, as Lois Lane and Lois and Clark, um, she started flirting with Dan Fielding. Her character, Kitty, started flirting with Dan Fielding. And he's trying to do everything he can to resist her temptations because of, her, of, his, of his boss. So, and I think the, she's like the boss's niece or something like that. So, <clears throat> and it was hilarious. And <laughs> so, it was hilarious, right? He's trying to think of Margaret Thatcher and Mama Cass and all that good stuff. All right, now one of the game shows on here. On my honorable mentions, Card Sharks started in, in the late 70s and ended in the early 80s. In 81, with Jim Perry uh, as host on the NBC version, CBS kind of brought it back with um, Bill Rafferty and Bob Eubanks. I think Bill Rafferty does the prime time version, but Bob Eubanks does the uh, daytime version. And it was a really cool show. I think around in the mid 80s, 85, 86, I think. And then Perfect Strangers, one of my favorite. Um, shows ever was pretty funny. My favorite character is Balky Patarkamus. And remember, Perfect Strangers um, had a show that spun off of that. It was Family Matters, which became a big hit. And Urkel was a hit. And, and uh, Harry and Carl Winslow were characters on the Perfect Strangers before they had their own show. It was really cool. Um, uh, Harriet Winslow at Perfect Strangers was the um, elevator operator. So it was on, on the show before she had her own hit. With um, with Family Matters, and Reginald Vell Johnson, who played Carl Winslow, you saw him on Die Hard. He's also plays a cop in this one, so I think it's hilarious. So I think it was all, you know, a little '80s trivia for you, if y'all don't know. All right, let's go to the top ten list. Number ten to eighteen, love action comedy. You even name it. Howie Man Murdoch's my favorite character. My second favorite is B. A. Baracus, A.K.A. Mr. T. I thought Mr. T. and Dwight Schultz made a pretty good like. Mr. T's trying to be the straight man. And, uh, and Murdoch's being the wise guy, the funny guy, you know? And back then, you had a straight guy and a funny guy. The straight guy's like a straight-laced, you know? It's always prim and proper and everything else. You got the unconventional wacky guy. So, it's sort of like that. When you add Templeton Peck, face, played by, played by Dirk Benedict, and George Papard, who played Hannibal Smith, uh, you know, and rounds out the team, and I thought it was really cool. Number nine... Knight Rider. Knight Rider was one of my favorite shows to watch. I have the whole entire DVD set of it. David Hasselhoff at Star follows me on Twitter. I thought it was really cool. So I started watching Knight Rider again. And Kit is my favorite, you know. I have to say, my favorite episode is when Kit went up against Carr. K-A-R-R. -R, you know, the evil version of Kit. I thought it was really hilarious. So, <clears throat> all right. Now, from 8 to 1 are TV game shows in the 80s, and they're TV shows. They're shows, whether it's game shows or sitcom shows. And this one's a... All right, number 8, NTV's first game show, Remote Control. I love the game show. love the concept, you know, especially you get the most points. 
and how much uh, on TV shows and get on channels that you know. And if you get the lowest points, you're eliminated from the game, which I thought the process of elimination was pretty cool. And, um, you know, I thought I didn't, you know, I thought I didn't like the first season of the way they eliminate, you know, would act like, you know, when the skeleton was in the chair, the place in the person that went off the air, you know, I thought it wasn't funny at first. It gave me a little bit of nightmares. I didn't understand it, but they made it funny, you know, and skeleton on the phone and the sunglasses and the rose in the mouth. And then uh, there was one episode I saw on, on YouTube where, um, they put the skeleton upside down. The skeleton's face was, well, was, was face down, you know, it was like he's like on his head, but he's just saying, well, I'm going to sit that way. I don't know if they screwed it up or what. I think, I think it was pretty funny, you know, and I thought it was, I thought it was pretty hilarious. So, but in the second round, I like the way, you know, the process of, uh, they made it different. After somebody goes off the air, you get a speed round, a three second speed round, whoever wins that first player, uh, first place wins, second place player goes. It's simple as that. I thought I liked it. <clears throat> All right, um, number seven, full fun house, not full house, fun house, fun house was a, was like a double dare type thing. You had a huge obstacle course to fun house in the end. They had a spinoff called College Madhouse, hosted by Greg Kinnear before he hit it big in the movies, um, which I think was great. And uh, let me see, I had a crush on the cheerleaders in Fun House. So I thought they were really cute. I think Sammy uh, is Jackie and Sammy. Sammy was red. Jackie was was gold. I like Sammy. Well, I don't know. You know, Jackie was like a, a, a blonde and Sammy was like a brunette. I'm, I'm partial to the brunettes. I, I just do. All right. So Funhouse, you know, J.D. Roth hmm, was the host, you know. So I thought it was pretty cool. All right. Number six is Hitman. Now, Hitman was a short-lived game show, I believe, from January of 83 to April 1st, 1983. It was like, you know, like you show, you show a video and has all the answers. And what Peter... To Mark and the host does, he asks the questions from that video and the contestants give him answers and they get it right. In the first round, they had a ladder race to see what which hitman, two hitmen will go to the second round. And I thought the hitman thing, I thought the arcade uh, look of the set was pretty awesome. And, you know, you saw the little hitman aliens, I thought it was pretty funny. And then the second round, you had to eliminate um, your opponent's hitman and hitmen. And whoever's hitman is left standing is the winner. Like if, if the red, you know, red is the champion, and, and um, the challengers could be blue, yellow, you know, or or green, or, or blue and yellow, or green and yellow, or blue and green, or, or yellow and green. So, so I thought it was pretty cool. <clears throat> and in the end, you get the triple crown. You get fill up columns with money men, and if you fill up three columns, you win 10,000 bucks, and I thought it was pretty fun. <clears throat> I thought the show was pretty um, pretty much fun. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting the cold. You know, you got to be out, going out to work in extreme cold. It's crazy. It's crazy. Personally, that's why I want to get out of that job. Um, <clears throat> number five, Finders Keepers. One of my favorite game shows from Nickelodeon. You go, um, you, went, uh, you search a picture, you get it right. You go and search a room, find the object in the room, you win money, you don't, money goes to the other team. My favorite room is the Egyptian room, of course, and I thought it was really cool. You know, the sarcophagus and, and everything, and the mummy, and then saying hi. And it's all, it was, it was a cool game show, so I thought, you know, you know, I, I downloaded episodes of that show, and because I like watching it, so. All right, number four, The Joker's Wild. Created in the 70s, and then it came in syndication in the late 70s and the 80s. It was hosted by Jack Barry. Jim Peck filled in for a time, and when Jack Barry passed away, Bill Cullen hosted the show. I thought it was a really cool concept, and it started a Jack Barry and Dan Wright trio of great game shows. Um, you win $500, you go around, face the devil, and I had to face the devil bonus round. All those bonus games you, um, I've been playing, I had to face the devil bonus round, and all you got to do is win money. And avoid the devil, and you get money and prizes. All right. Another game that I played on the on Flash, um, num number three, another game show from the '80s. I played on the Flash games, of course. Um, you see me doing it on YouTube a couple times. Tic Tac Toe, Wink Martindale, funny game show host. He's a game show host and legend, a legend, man. So Tic Tac Toe, one of my favorite game shows. Uh, X's and O's categories. Tom McKee, the all-time champ there at the time, till Ken Jennings has blown him out of the water in Jeopardy. And uh, I thought it was really cool. So, and 
the concept of beating the dragon. What is, one thing I like about these Barry and Enright game shows is that you have to beat the bad guy in a bonus game to win. Jokes while I had the devil, Tic Tac Doe, and the dragon. I'll get to the other game show. Obviously, it's on this list. You can see it in your front of your face. But let's go a number two. You can beat another villain. Uh, press your luck. One of my favorite, personal favorite game shows of all time. Um, Peter Tamarkin and Rod Roddy came from the Hitman, from Hitman to host this show, and it took off until 1986. One guy, Michael Larson, figured out the game board and walked away with $110,237. If you don't believe me, you better watch that episode, son. And they have Whammies. That's how my first nickname came about. Whammy. Because I always go, Whammy, Jack, you're my cash. That's what it is. Whammies are coming to see you, stash. Sorry, my voice is not up. You know, this stupid, um, it, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> I hate the win. I hate the winter, to be honest with you. So, Fresh Your Luck is number two. Love the game board. The whammies. It was all cool. It's like combined a little bit of cartoons here and there. And the number one favorite TV show of the 80. It's the game in which daring determines the fate of the player. Also a game of strategy, luck, knowledge. Bullseye. That's right. And they have a, another villain. The back, it's a Jack Berry and Dan and Wright product, produced game show. Bullseye. The, the set was so unique. It was so awesome. It's totally 80s, space age type. The Game Boy with three squirrels, two at the top, one of them. You saw me play the Flash game. You know how it is. Uh, we answer questions correctly. You win. We get to $1,000 or more. You win. Or $2,000 or more. You win. You play the bonus round where you have to avoid the lightning bolt and get three bullseyes to win cash and prizes. Get lightning, obviously you lose. They tried to do it with celebrities, but then the ratings went, and the show went off the air. In 1982, I missed Bullseye, GSN, talk to Sony, get Jokers Wild, Tic Tac Doe, and Bullseye, along with Pressure Luck, get those rest of those episodes back on the air, please, I'm begging you, so, alright, these are the top 10 favorite TV show of my favorite TV shows of the 80s, honorable mentions are there, and that is all there is to it, so, that's all the time we have on this show, remember, use your heads, don't do stupid things, please love and respect one another, and if you ever have a bad day, you grab a pad, you grab a pen, and tell that bad day, they just made the list. All right, I'll see you guys later for um, episode 697. Well, I'll be talking about the... I'll be talking about... Hold up, hold up. What well, I'll be talking about... I got it on the list here. Top 10 favorite of my favorite 80s movies. And uh, this one's another tough call. So there's a summer... Because these are the movies I've seen and some I don't. I haven't seen. So my, this is my favorite top 10. 80s movie. So, as all the time we have, um, see you guys later. You have a wonderful day and uh, God bless.